Welcome to Electra Online and now we're going to talk about what happens when you put an acid and a base together. So we have a basic reaction. So here we have the acid, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide is the base. When you put them together, you end up with a salt and with water. In this case, the salt will be sodium chloride. Of course, everybody knows what sodium chloride is. That's what we put on our food to make it taste better. Hmm, interesting. Bitter taste, tastes better, but anyway. And of course, what's left over, the hydroxide ion, the hydrogen ion together, form a water molecule and that's typically what happens with an acid-base reaction. Now of course when you have sodium chloride in an aqueous solution they don't stay together as a, as a molecule they will separate as ions in the solution like that so even though we write the equation like this you will still have them in solution but then when you allow the water to evaporate over time eventually what you'll end up with at the bottom you actually will end up with sodium chloride crystals salt crystals at the bottom when all the water has been evaporated so yes, it does eventually end up like this when you take away the excess water. So at least that way you can see that from the reaction, you, you take hydrochloric acid, mix it with sodium hydroxide, and this, and you, sure enough, you do get salt, so sodium chloride. And of course, to show that to yourself, you can do the, the experiment at the very end. It's a typical experiment we do in high school or college classes. Typical at the end, you'll have some salt left at the bottom of your beaker. And that's the basics of the acid-base reaction.